Well, we're very lucky in that our patron, His Royal Highness, Prince Charles, cares deeply about young people and cares deeply about the arts. He restored this beautiful house behind me, but he did more than just restore it. He wanted it to be a place of regeneration and renewal. And he'd set up some amazing programs that are ongoing, but he didn't yet have any consistent arts training. And he said, could we run the arts training here? And that seemed a perfect marriage. It's really exciting. It's um, a new step for us um, because it's allowing us to take all of the expert teachers and experience that we have in teaching young people into a new area. So hopefully the children who will take part in this will benefit from that level of teaching and you never know in a few years time might then be able to access um, higher level training at the conservatoire. It should be for, for everybody to have access to music and enjoy it and I think that you know the partnership here is, is a part of that process. Uh, suddenly they get this fantastic opportunity to work here with people at Dumfries House and then with the RCS staff and terrific musicians that can come down and, and work with the children. I think it's just a, a, lovely, a wonderful thing for everybody involved really. The partnership with the Royal Conservatory of Scotland is a great resource for our children at Green Mill Primary School because it gives them access to really good quality teaching, um, workshops, orchestral playing, chamber music and all the things that the Conservatory can provide. I really like it because it teaches us how to play all together and we can learn things together and it builds up teamwork. I like playing music because it shows, um, if you get to perform it shows people what you can do and it shows people that you've got a talent. We might make Prince Charles happy and like he might enjoy your music and that's basically all I want is to make someone happy today. Uh, yeah, it was a great experience because um, he's so interested in the performing arts and it was great to show him like a bit of what the Conservatoire do and how we collaborate with everyone. I loved the piece because it was so like strongly Scottish and like being at the Conservatoire in Glasgow, um, the choreographer really wanted to make something that had like a really strong Scottish like vibe to it. The collaboration between um, the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland and Dumfries House is great for the community Cumnock of Cumnock because um, we have over 200 children learning to play string instruments in Green Mill Primary School. It's quite unique, it's the only school in Scotland that has every child learning a string instrument as part of a whole class project. So the setting up of this project is great because it means that the kids can feed in and then pick up individual lessons provided by the Royal Conservatoire. It feels like a special place. There's great facilities, lots of big open spaces, so from a dance point of view um, it's ideal for us to also get out of Glasgow and take what we do um, to different areas. So today was the launch event, uh, kind of celebrating the kickoff and giving a taste of what we hope to do here. Uh, and in September we'll really start a program of consistent lessons in music, consistent lessons in dance, and we also hope to bring a kind of performance program, perhaps taking our Monday lunchtime programs from time to time and bringing them over here on a minibus and having them play to a different audience in Ayrshire and maybe, with some luck, at some times in front of His Royal Highness.